showing you guys a tutorial on how to crochet this daisy bag now the highlight of this bag is really this daisy flower over here but i won't be showing you guys how to crochet this flower because i also followed the tutorial for it and i'll be linking it down in the description box below for the flower itself but i will be showing you guys how to make this bag over here it's a very beginner friendly pattern and it can hold your essentials like your phone and your cash and your cards and it's very customizable you can make it bigger or smaller to your liking and i really recommend making this with some chunky yarn and a 10 millimeter hook but i won't waste any more of your time and let's just get right into the tutorial for the materials the first thing we'll be needing is some yarn for the bag itself we'll be using some chunky yarn because we're only going to be making a few rows and a few columns so chunky yarn like this is perfect for this bag so i'm going to be linking where you can buy this in the description below and also showing a picture on screen where you can buy it on shopee for the flower, however, you can use a thinner yarn. I would suggest using a thinner yarn. I'm going to be using 4-ply milk cotton for my flower. The next one is going to be a crochet hook. Now, you're going to be getting a crochet hook according to the size of your yarn. For this yarn, it's going to be a 10 millimeter crochet hook, like this. If you have a chunkier yarn, then you'd need a bigger hook. However, for the flowers, if you're going to be using a thinner yarn, then you're going to use a yarn according to how thin your yarn is. Finally, for the needed materials, we need a stitch marker. Now, this is for beginners because if you are a beginner, you probably don't. You can probably forget where you start your rows. But if you're more advanced, then you probably wouldn't need this. I forgot to mention this while filming the video, but you'll also be needing some keychains like this in order to attach your flower just like how I did mine. Okay, so now that we have all our materials, we're gonna start crocheting. We're gonna locate the end of this yarn. Okay, we have it right here. And we're gonna be making a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you'll be needing your hand like this. Now we're gonna wrap the yarn twice around our two fingers, so our two fingers here. And our thumb is gonna be continuously holding the end right here. So separate your two fingers from your hand and hold the end of the yarn with your thumb. Now we're gonna wrap this around our two fingers once and then going around twice. But notice that as we're wrapping it around, we're making an X over here. This is very important. And then we're gonna let the thumb also hold the longer piece of yarn. Now we're gonna flip our fingers like this. Take one finger, put it underneath the first loop, grabbing the second loop through the first loop. So underneath, pull it through like this. And now we have something like this. Make sure you don't let this circle of yarn, don't let it go. So hold it like this. Now we're gonna pull the loop that we pulled through a while ago. Pull it while holding this um, shape right here pull it through and now we have this now this is what we call a slip knot now we're gonna grab our hook put it through the hole and we're gonna take the longer end of the yarn and just pull it like this so now it's tight around our hook we can now begin crocheting this is a slip knot so we're gonna be making a chain that will fit around the entire bag so we're going around, we're not working in panels, we're going to be going around. Now you can make it however long you want, but I'll be making 27 chains for this bag. So now we have our hook like this, and we have one loop on our hook, we're going to yarn over. So we're going to grab the second loop that we got through our first loop on the hook, like this. So now we have a chain, we're going to do it again, yarn over, and just pull through the loop on our hook. Okay, so now... We have two chains. I'm just going to make 27 chains for this bag. Five, six, six. Okay, so now we have this chain. This is 27 chains. So this is going to be how wide our bag will be because it's a chain around the bag. So this is going to be how wide. I'm just making mine to fit my phone, but you can make it however long you want. So now that we have our chain, we're going to be connecting the first and the last chain of this crochet chain. Now, it's going to be hard for beginners, but bear with me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to locate where the first chain is. So it's this one for me. Now we're going to get our hook. Make sure the chain isn't tangled, by the way. So now we're going to grab my hook over here. And here is the first chain. Right here. 
we're gonna put our hook inside that first chain and now we have our hook through the first chain now we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna make a slip stitch so to make a slip stitch we're gonna just yarn over we have two loops by the way the loop from our last chain and the loop from our first chain now we're gonna yarn over we have three loops on our hook now we're gonna pull through the first the second loop here from our first chain and we're gonna pull through as well from the other loop on our hook so now we have this we have connected our chain I'm just going around to check if it's tangled or not and it's not tangled so that's what we have here it's gonna be the length of our bag I mean the width so now we're gonna go back here now we're gonna chain two we're gonna be doing double crochets all across this bag by the way chain two one two now that we have a chain two we're gonna locate our first chain which is here which we slip stitched in and we're gonna do a double crochet inside that okay so to do a double crochet we're gonna yarn over skip these two chains that we made and go into the first chain of our base chain yarn over go inside that first chain now we have three loops on our hook one two three we're gonna yarn over again pull it through the first loop and now we're gonna have three chains on our hook now we're gonna yarn over again pull through two loops so the one two loops and now we're gonna be left with these two loops but since this is the first double crochet of the row we're gonna be grabbing our stitch marker over here and we're just gonna put it through this first loop over here this is just so we can know where we started this is best for beginners but if you're advanced you can skip this step so now we have these two loops and I'm just gonna yarn over finishing off our first double crochet so now we have our first double crochet we're just gonna be working in double crochets all across the entire band or the base chain i'm just gonna be pulling some yarn here okay so we're gonna do it again yarn over locate the next chain which is here put it through and now we have three loops i'm gonna yarn over again pull through one loop bring it up we have three loops here yarn over pull through two loops and we have two loops left yarn over pull through the last two loops now we're just going to be doing that for the rest of the bag or the base chain if you need to take it slow you can just rewind but i'm just going to be continuing mine now if you're a beginner please count how many you're doing how many double crochets you're doing and remember how many base chains you made that's how many double crochets you'll make and stop at the last one so i have one two three i've made three double crochets so far i'm gonna stop at my 27th double crochet Now I'm at my 26th double crochet over here. This is gonna be my last, my 27th double crochet. Yarn over, going through that last chain. Now we have our last double crochet. It's gonna look something like this. So 
so now we have this right here as you can see we have one two three chains before a double crochet that's first double crochet over here so stitch marker is really important if you're a beginner so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch into the very first double crochet of the first row so we're gonna take off this um stitch marker don't forget where it's placed right here So there's three remaining before we get into the double crochet because this, is, this one is a slip stitch and these are the chains that we made in the first row. So now we're gonna put our hook through the, uh, the top of that double crochet. We're gonna slip stitch, yarn over, pull through the entire thing and we're gonna also pull through, through that. So it's just like that. Now we have something like this. Now we're just gonna continue that, making another row, just the same thing. Now we're gonna chain two, one, two, just like we did before. This is how we're gonna be building up the rows from here, like this. Chain two, and we're gonna be making a double crochet into the first loop where we ch where we chained in. I mean where we slip stitched in over here that's where we're gonna be putting our double crochet so yarn over put inside where we slip stitched the first double crochet from the first row so for my dog yarn over pull through that now we have three chains i mean three loops yarn over pull through two and before we end that since it's the first dc of the new row we're going to be putting this stitch marker through here, like so, and just yarn over. Now we're just going to continue again what we did in the first row, double crocheting until we reach 27 double crochets or however many your base chain was. So we're going to be making 27 and I'll just come back when I finish with that. Okay, so now I just finished my 26th double crochet. I'm just gonna double crochet one more time to finish the second row. So now we finished 27 double crochets, and now we're gonna be doing the same thing as we did in the first row. We're gonna take off the stitch marker, remembering where it is. I'm gonna hold that here. And now we're gonna slip stitch the first double crochet with our last double crochet. Going, going inside that. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through. I'm just gonna pull through as well. We have this. Now it's getting its shape. We're just gonna continue making however many rows you want, but I'm only gonna be making four rows. So doing the same thing, just chain two. Make one double crochet into the first one. Always for beginners. The stitch, the stitch marker in the first one like this. Just pull through. I'm just gonna come back when I'm done with this row again. Now I'm making the very last double crochet for this row. Like this. And now we're gonna slip stitch again into the first double crochet. We're gonna be making one more row to finish this off to make the back. So we're gonna do that. Chain two. Just double crochet into here. Beginners, don't forget your stitch marker. Now we're gonna just DC all across. Okay, so I just finished the last double crochet for that row, the 27, and we're just gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet. Slip stitch. Okay, now we have finally finished the base of our bag. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make the straps. The straps are really quick. We're just gonna chain. You can chain however many you want. I just eyeball it. <laughs> so this, let me see if it's big enough. Nope. 
So this chain is enough for me. So I made a total of 20 chains for my straps. Okay, so we're gonna put our hook back into that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the double crochet opposite to where you made your strap. So we're gonna put it through here. Put it through here, the opposite side. This, and now we're just gonna yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through as well. Now we have our straps. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna chain and cut off that yarn. So now we have this. I cut off the end over here where the strap was, and I'm gonna just secure it into the bag. I'm not the best at securing stuff, so I would suggest watching some YouTube channels on how to properly secure your ends. But I'll link that down in the description below. This is just how I do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna come back with this later. I'm gonna cut it off later. So now we have this. It's so cute already. And I have this bottom part over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect these two bottoms. That's the last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna connect these two bottoms. And how we're gonna do that is you can do whatever you want. You can maybe single crochet across. You can do whatever you want. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, somewhat like connect it through sewing it but I'm gonna be using a crochet hook so just putting it through the first making sure by the way that it's even both sides are even so what I'm gonna do is gonna be putting it through the first two parts where I'm gonna connect so over here you see that I'm gonna be doing this all across I'm gonna grab my yarn and pull it through both this is the same ideology as sewing I'm gonna flip and do it on the other side. See, I'm going to the second one. So much fur, sorry. Second one, I'm just gonna pull it through again. Don't even have to yarn over, I just did that. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side. Put it inside the two here. Pull through. Next. The side. Thing. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I reach the end of the bag. Now we have this. It's so cute. And what we're gonna do is just gonna cut off this yarn over here. And again, we're gonna secure these ends into the bag. I'm gonna do it off cam this time. So now we actually have the bag over here and it's so cute. It can fit my phone in it. Now I'm gonna be adding a flower over here but i'm not going to be showing a tutorial on my account here since it isn't my tutorial i'll be linking the flower tutorial in the description below and i'll be showing you the finished product once i'm done with that once you're done crocheting the bag and crocheting the flower all you have to do is attach the flower to a keychain like this and then attach the keychain to the bag like this on the straps and then you're done alternatively you could also put the flower in the middle if you like or you could even add more flowers to the bag itself i think that would be very cute but i really like the look of it as a keychain it looks like an accent to the bag and it's very very cute and then you have your bag you have your own daisy bag thank you guys so much for watching this video and i really hope to see your own versions of the daisy bag if you do make the daisy bag please do tag me in your post made by men both on tiktok and instagram I'd really love to see your own spin on this daisy bag and it's really really cute and I hope you guys do make it. Thank you so much for watching and I will upload more tutorials soon. Comment down below what kind of tutorials you want to see from this channel, also what kind of videos, maybe lifestyle videos and more. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye!